Hey guys, it's uh, Dave Dean here. Uh, just doing a quick video. I'm uh, down at the Jeep dealership and we're just checking out the, uh, the brand new uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee L's. Um, so we're gonna check out the old audio system here. So in this system, it has the Alpine system. Uh, so you have to go up, I believe, to the Summit to get the Macintosh system, uh, which I'll do another video on that one. Uh, they don't have any of the Summits in stock here. So uh, this is the Limited. Uh, but it's pretty nice. Um, it's got pretty much everything that the Summit has on here uh, for the most part. Uh, but like I said, this is the Alpine system. Uh, I already listened to it on a few songs already um, with the sales guy here. And now I'm just by myself uh, going to record this video. So um, I brought along the good old uh, trusty uh, M11 uh, digital audio player. And we're going to test out. Uh, I'll probably just do the one song. And we'll just kind of go from there. All right, here we go. So yeah, that's the Jeep Grand Cherokee L Limited uh, Alpine Stereo. Uh, and you know what? I'd have to say, if somebody bought this and you bought a DAP to go with it, uh, you know what? The sound is like, uh, this is probably the best sound that I've heard in a vehicle to date for a stock system. Um, I can't even imagine what the Macintosh system would sound like. But honestly, if I bought this vehicle and I just took my, my DAP up to it, um, I probably wouldn't even have bought an aftermarket stereo. Honestly, it's it's pretty good. I don't know what it sounds like um, with the iPhone. Uh, I didn't bother uh, you know, putting it on Bluetooth or whatever. Um, and I don't have the, I don't have the, dongle the 3.5 like the lightning the 3.5 cable so i can't check that out uh but i basically when i when i go listen to systems i usually bring the dap with me and uh i think jeep jeep stepped its game up because this is this system's far better uh than what my stock system was 
in my, uh, as you can see, that's my vehicle right there, right? So mine's a uh, 2020 uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited X, right? It's got the SRT hood on it and whatnot. And uh, it was okay, like, it, it was okay. It was it was decent, but this is like a little bit louder, a little bit cleaner. Uh, the image is actually not that bad. It's pretty close to the center uh, for the vocals. Um, I like the interior that they did. Uh, they have the stitching up here. Uh, they So they did a better job for when you're starting off in the, in the limited. Um, this, they don't have the wood grain or anything in it, right? Uh, I think you got to go into the summit for that. Uh, as far as I know, uh, the summit one's actually pretty nice, uh, but I mean, it's still decent. This was, this is the same material that's in, uh, in my vehicle, right? That's all right. It's not bad. Um, they put a little bit more of it in there. Uh, some people don't really like the glossy black finish. Like they thought it was too much. Yeah. They could have probably did, uh, um, the trim down here instead of doing black, right? That's what probably what I would have did, uh, especially in the summit, uh, with the wood, I would have put the wood down here rather than have them keep the screen black, right? Um, and then put the more of the wood down in the bottom here. But overall, because I'm just doing the sound systems, uh, honestly, if anybody bought this vehicle, and uh, I'm sure it sounds pretty decent with the Apple CarPlay. Uh, these have like Apple uh, uh, wireless, uh, well, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wireless, um, but you guys all know how I feel about wireless anything or Bluetooth anything. <laughs> I really can't stand Bluetooth. I like connecting everything wired. Uh, but yeah, this system with this DAP in it um, sounds amazing. On it, honestly, it sounds it sounds really really good. Um, if I had it, I probably wouldn't do anything aftermarket. Honestly, I I honestly wouldn't because it's it's decent. And I can't even imagine, like I said, what the Macintosh system is going to be like. Because um, this is actually the first system that I sat in um, that I was like, you know what? If I had it, I probably wouldn't change it. You know what I mean? I wouldn't buy like I bought with the DSP and everything. My car blows it away because it's like the volume level is just insane in my vehicle, right? Uh, and obviously, it's more detailed and, and everything, right? Um, but I think for your, your regular person out there, you're going to be more than happy with the sound system. And that's just on the Alpine system. Like I said, the Macintosh system, I would imagine, is uh, uh, even better, probably even a lot more louder than this. But this has got some decent volume. Uh, the bass is pretty decent into it. Like I said, everything's through my through my file player. So you have to remember that, right? I didn't test this with a phone. Uh, the phone's going to be worse than, than the DAP, right, when you're listening to music on here. So... Uh, but that's my review. And like I said, I always recommend a DAP regardless, right? So a FIO M11 or higher. And you're going to have good sound even out of your stock system. All right, guys. That's Dave. Have a good day. And we'll see you on the next one.